Now, I'm a, obviously, I'm a huge fan of the first movie, and mm-hmm. uh, what really surprised me going into the second one was was that element of surprise. Like, I, I love that you can uh, kind of make a movie, uh, or not just a movie, but a franchise like Kingsman in today's studio system. Mm-hmm. So I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about being able to make something so atypical of what is made t- in today's franchise filmmaking. Don't let them have any involvement. <laughs> yeah. That's number one. No, I mean, you know, we, uh, we finance the film and then give it to them when it's finished. Yeah. So it's, uh, that's why it is what it is. I mean, this film... You know, in the first film, you know, the studio notes were very much, can you get, get rid of the church sequence? Mm. You know, that's, people aren't going to like that. And you know this head's exploding thing? Nah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, and, maybe not. And that joke that. at the end, I mean, oh. that's totally unnecessary. You know, just get rid of that. And <laughs> can you make it 25 minutes shorter as well? Because, mm. you know, people don't like long movies. I was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And this one I had, you know, um, there's a few. Uh, do you really need to see Poppy in that mincer scene? You know, that, mm. that can go, you know, Poppy. I don't think people are going to like Poppy. She's too sort of weird. And uh, yeah. what were the other great comments? Um, I, I would imagine the uh, having uh, a giant plot them. point surrounding... Well, I love you, Fox. Carry on. <laughs> having a giant plot point mm-hmm. surrounding, you know, making it to uh, it's a third base, you know, yeah. is probably, probably not high on the studio's list either. Mm-hmm. Second base. Second base. Maybe it's third. I think it's... It's been I, a long time I when, I, yeah. when I referred <laughs> to bases. Was that second base for you? First field. What was first base? First base was a kiss. Kiss. Second, Second base, base was over, boobs. The, over, the, over the shirt, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, under the shirt. Well, oh, then, you, then you got 50 bases. I mean, yeah. you're going to go that. I know. <laughs> <Cotton> <laughs> I imagine the kiss, shirts. second base, third base is down below. This Great. <laughs> Let's talk to the kids. Yeah. They yeah. Know. Um, what? <laughs> they know. They all know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're yeah. Right. I think we've done too many bases in our yeah, time. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I was going to blow past that one. I was mm. going to. You brought it up. Yeah, I know. Um, Mark, was it a huge shock to you when you came back to this character to learn just how into John Denver Merlin was? Uh, not a shock. I thought it was genius. Yeah. I thought it was really clever. We were just talking about it before. Um, mm. There's something about that song that lends itself to his Scottishness. Yeah, and yeah. there's something that you know, that song lends itself to that moment in the film as well that's just really clever. There's a kind of pining for the, you know, in the way that he pines for West Virginia. I suppose Merlin mm. has that feeling about the Highlands. Yeah. You know, so there's a, there's a nice uh, connection there. And a lot of country western music and, you know, the Appalachian music, that, they were all based on sort of Celtic tunes and right. kind of Celtic mm. chord structures as well. So that's why it all sort of blends uh, Yeah, together. it melds very well. Yeah. yeah. Now we get to see the U.S.'s uh, version of the Kingsman, mm-hmm. uh, and it kind of struck me watching it, going like, "This kind of opens the door to, like, it pretty, as many countries as there are, there could be sister and brother branches, you know, throughout." Have you guys put any thought to that? Would you want to a- ever explore seeing what like Canada's version or you know Canada's Japan's? version? What would that be? Come on, help me out. It there. has to have Jeez. something to do with mountains. You Canadian? Probably no, no. Oh, um, no, I'm Texan. <laughs> Lum- Lumberjack shirts yeah, would be involved. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine. No, I would um, never say never. Uh, I think yeah. it's really important that we don't make the mistake of most franchises of just trying to cash in and mm. just make as much money as possible. So right now the plan is if people like this, we're going to make a third, mm-hmm. and that will be the end of that trilogy and that storyline. And then who knows? But, yeah, there could be there's, – there, there's a very big sandpit that we could play with, mm. but I want to make sure we're doing it properly. But you also don't want to get caught in the trap of just, you know – uh, making a movie that you're expecting, and that's what I love so I much about that. this one. Is it so that different? Marv right? will never, my company yeah. will never do that. <clears throat> you know, we're about being, trying to be fresh, trying to be unique, trying to make movies that people that I want to watch. Mm. Number one, but I've got a pretty broad taste. Those are people, most people I like, the world likes, and um, have fun, and not. We're not doing it to make money. We make money out of it, but when that's not on, we just want to make the, make have just make some great films, and not worry. I mean, he, about. He's made six movies in a row that have not only been successful but are really, really good. Yeah. That's quite rare. Yeah, very rare. 